So this is seriously bringing back memories because all of those tap X's that I used to go to all closed. Boba is actually pretty solid. It's not mushy, but it's soft and it's chewy, but not too hard. Hi everyone, in today's video, we are doing trying every boba chain. Is that it? <laughs> Usually when I do that, there's it's a much longer title, but I guess today is just really trying every boba chain. So the reason I decided to do this video is because I get a lot of comments from you guys asking me to try boba chains because some of you guys don't live in the Bay Area, so you want me to try some places that you might have near you. So today I've chosen a bunch of different boba chains for us to try, and I also excluded the boba chains that I've been recently featuring on my channel because I feel like you guys have already seen me try those. So the ones that we're going to today generally I have not put on my channel before or I've only put it on my channel like once or something and then at each place I'm gonna order their top number one most popular drink so that way I'm getting kind of like the best drink there or like the one that most people order so yeah before we get into the video if you guys like these kinds of videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you don't miss any uploads like this as well as give this video a thumbs up and with that being said let's head to the first stop Okay, so we just stopped by the first stop, which is the one, the only, Quickly. This is definitely one of the older boba spots in the Bay Area. Like, I remember seeing Quickly when I was growing up and stuff. So it's been around for a long, long time. I asked the cashier what's, like, the number one most popular drink that people order at Quickly. And she gave me a few options, but she said that the number one is probably the jasmine milk tea. So I got that, and I also added boba. And I'm now thinking that we're probably gonna get a lot of just like jasmine milk tea or like normal classic milk tea. I'll try my best to switch it up if a place has a really really popular drink that's not a normal milk tea. Upon first impression, it looks kind of powdery. I'm gonna try to show it to the camera. I don't know if you can see it, but in person it definitely looks powdery and not the best. <laughs> It actually tastes better than it looks just because it does have a jasmine flavor there. It is definitely more on the watery side though and it's not like a creamy jasmine milk tea which is what I usually prefer. Hopefully you guys can see that there's like this powder on the cup. So that's what I was talking about earlier when I was saying that it looks powdery. The boba is pretty chewy but it's also on the harder side as well which is not my favorite but overall this drink isn't horrible. Like I've actually had worse boba than this. Dude, I cannot eat it. It is really disgusting. It's like weird because I feel like I remember the Quickly's and SF being better than this one. Like the milk tea is creamier there and I think the boba is softer there and it's a lot cheaper there. I would give the drink, like the jasmine milk tea part, probably about a five and then the boba I'd also probably give about a five. Oh, and also I wanted to mention that when I'm doing my ratings in this video, I'm gonna be rating like this drink itself. It's not a rating of the place overall, it's basically just a rating of the place's most popular drink. So with that being said, we have a lot of boba chains to go to today. So let's head to the second stop. All right, so we just stopped by the second stop, which was IT. And as you can see, um, I got a little something extra because I literally cannot resist their popcorn chicken. It's really, really good. And it smells so good. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit because I'm really hungry. <laughs> oh, it's so crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. And it comes with fried basil as well as some garlic. Oh, so good. Mm. So anyway, moving on to the drink, I got the brown sugar pearl fresh milk, which is basically a brown sugar boba drink. And they said that their three most popular drinks are this one, as well as the just normal milk tea and the Hokkaido milk tea. And since we had jasmine milk tea at Quickly, I thought we'd just switch it up with this brown sugar drink. Ooh, let's give it a good mix. Mmm, mmm. Usually I tend to think that IT's boba is definitely more on the hard side, but surprisingly in this drink, it's softer. It definitely has a nice brown sugar flavor as well. I wonder if they use different boba for the brown sugar boba drink because the texture is definitely softer and it definitely also has a much richer brown sugar flavor to it. The milk is pretty decent. I do wish it was a little more 
creamier and richer but that's just me being kind of picky because i have really high standards for brown sugar boba and i do wish that there was just a little bit more like brown sugar syrup because while i feel like the boba has a really nice brown sugar flavor i just wish that i would get more of that rich brown sugar flavor throughout the whole drink but overall this is not bad i'm pretty happy with it so for the liquid part of the drink i would give it probably a seven i think if it was like a richer and creamier milk, I would have bumped it up a little bit more. Like I said before, the boba in this drink is better than the boba that I usually get at IT. I'd say in the past, the IT boba is maybe a 5 out of 10 for me. But this one, since it's a lot better in my opinion, I would give it like a 7.5. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this drink, but I need to save space for the rest of the drinks. So let's head to stop number three. All right, so we just stopped by the third and fourth stop because they were both in the same plaza. So I thought, why not just visit both of them? So we went to Tapioca Express as well as Tenren. And me and Tapioca Express go way back because there used to be one pretty close by to my school. So after school, like me and my friends would walk to Tapex and we get popcorn chicken and milk tea. And fun fact, there also used to be one across from my piano teacher's house. And whenever I would go to piano lesson and I did well, my piano teacher would give me a sticker. And then if I got a sticker, my mom would take me to Tapioca Express <laughs> as like my reward. And that was when I was like, six or seven years old so she started me on this boba addiction really young so this is seriously bringing back memories because all of those tap X's that i used to go to all closed i asked them what their most popular drinks were and they said the classic milk tea and also the thai tea so i decided to go ahead with the thai tea Woo! oh my gosh whoa oh my god that is like a sugar bomb. It's so sweet, but it actually tastes like how I remember their Thai tea to taste all those years ago. I feel like I can feel my teeth decaying when I drink it because of how sweet it is. I don't know if Tapex lets you customize your drink with the percentage of sweetness or anything, but if they do, I would definitely get this like half sweet or maybe even 25% sweet. But surprisingly, the boba is actually not bad. Like it's pretty soft and chewy. Definitely better than Quickly's boba. I feel like I would rate the Thai tea around a six out of 10. And then the boba, I would rate like a seven out of 10. It's actually not bad. You know, of course it's not gonna be the best boba ever, but considering it's Tapioca Express, I did not have high expectations. All right, so moving on to 10 Ren. When I walked in, I saw that they had a list of top 10 drinks. And then next to one of them, they had this like special star sticker. So I just went ahead and got that. This is the honey green tea with grass jelly and aloe vera. I'm really excited to try this because I've never had this drink at 10 Ren before. And I'm also craving something more on the refreshing side. Like everything we've had so far is very milky and creamy. Woo! You can see the grass jelly and the aloe vera down there as well. The aloe vera is really crunchy. It's not my favorite topping ever, but the drink has a really strong tea flavor. Like if you guys have never been to Tenren before, it's actually like a tea shop that also sells boba. I feel like they're more primarily a tea shop than a boba shop. So their tea is like really, really strong usually. The grass jelly is nice and silky smooth and it definitely has a good grass jelly flavor to it as well. I'm not really sure how I feel about having both the grass jelly and the aloe as the toppings. I'd actually just prefer one topping i'd probably go with the grass jelly over the aloe vera i do like how the green tea is really really strong but i do also wish that the drink itself is just a little bit sweeter maybe if we could take some of the sweetness from the tapex drink and put it in this drink so for the drink i would probably give it like a 7 out of 10 like i said i like the strong tea flavor but i just wish that it was a little bit sweeter because some of the bitterness is coming through and then for the toppings i feel like the rating isn't really a great comparison just because at this place we didn't get boba and at all the other places we got boba but if i had to rate the toppings i think i would give it maybe a six i'm not a huge fan of the aloe i do like the grass jelly but i don't really like that there's two toppings in the drink and to be fair yeah i could have ordered it with only one topping but i wanted to get the specific thing that they said is number one so I ordered it exactly how they wanted it to be ordered. So yeah, we are four boba shops in. We still have lots more to go. So let's head over to the fifth stop. All 
All right, so we just stopped by the fifth stop, which was It's Boba Time. I think they have like two locations in the Bay Area and the one that we went to is inside of New Park Mall in Newark. And when I was looking at their top 10 drinks list, the number one was Thai tea. But we had just gone Thai tea at Tapioca Express, so I decided to get the number two drink, which is this one. It's a cookies and cream... I don't know if it's supposed to be like a milkshake or a smoothie or something, but it's like a blended drink. And then I also added boba, which you can add to any drink for free, which is really nice. Oh, oh, oh no. I don't know if it's just because it's in like a frozen drink, but the boba is really hard and not good. It's low-key like chewing on rubber. So like I said, I don't know if it's because it's in a frozen drink and then, you know, the iciness and the coldness of the drink made it like a harder texture than it usually is. Let me try the drink by itself. It's definitely not as creamy as a milkshake. It's more of a smoothie slash icy slash slushy texture, but the taste is not bad. It honestly just tastes like cookies and cream ice cream, which I really like because I'm a huge fan of Oreos. But yeah, the boba, I was not a huge fan of. I think I would give the boba like a three, four. I'll give it a four out of 10. For the drink, I think I would give it like a six. I think if it was creamier and more like a milkshake type of texture, then I would give it probably even a 7.5 because I do like the flavor. I just don't like the texture that much. But yeah, I'm actually curious if you guys have a It's Boba Time near you and you guys like It's Boba Time, let me know what you guys get from there because I've only been here once before, so this is my second time, so I actually haven't tried many of their drinks. So I'm curious to see what you guys like there, and maybe next time I can try it out. But anyway, now let's head to the sixth stop. <laughs> All right, so we just stopped by the sixth stop, which was Ding Tea, and they had a list of their top 10 drinks, and the number one was the Signature Milk Tea. So I went ahead and got that, as well as added some boba. And I also think this cup is so cute, like it has this rounded bottom, and it even has this kind of flower shape on the bottom. I just think it's really cute. You can see that their boba isn't like the normal black boba. It looks like it has more of a light brown color-ish. I don't know, I feel like this milk tea doesn't taste like normal black milk tea. I'm trying to figure out what kind of tea they use, but it definitely tastes different. Yeah, I really don't know because I don't have amazing tea knowledge. Like I basically just know like jasmine, oolong, green, black tea. And I know that there's like different kinds, like jasmine is a type of green tea. Of course, I also know winter melon tea and like herbal tea and stuff, but that's pretty much the extent of my tea knowledge, so I'm not super well versed in tea and all the different kinds there are. It's also not too sweet, like it has a good balance of the sweetness and also the tea flavor. And it's decently creamy. I'd say the boba itself, it is chewy and not too hard, but it definitely could be softer for my taste. So I think the boba, I would give it maybe a six. And then the drink, like the milk tea, I would give probably like a seven. All right, I think we have one more place on the itinerary, so let's head to the last stop. All right, so we just stopped by the last stop, which is Cha Time, and I actually didn't even know that there was a Cha Time in the Bay until I looked it up, but there's only one and it's in San Mateo. So yes, I just did that long drive from Newark to San Mateo just to get cha time. And I actually have tried cha time once in Canada when I was in Toronto and then another time in Australia when I was in Brisbane. But I don't really remember much about what those were like. So when I asked them what their most popular drink is, they said the cha time roasted milk tea. And I went ahead and got it with boba, of course. Ooh. All right, let's give it a try. Hmm. I definitely get that roasted flavor. The consistency of the milk tea is not bad. It's not watery at all and it's a little bit creamy. So I like that. And the boba, boba is actually pretty solid. It's not mushy, but it's soft and it's chewy, but not too hard. So for the boba, I would say, I would give it like a 7.5. And the drink, I think I'd also give it a 7.5. So pretty solid drink, 7.5. I will put the overall ratings right here. And just a reminder that these are the ratings for just the drinks that I tried today. These are not ratings for 
the boba chain overall as a whole. So that's all the boba shops I have planned for today. And if you guys are wondering about other boba chains such as Gongcha, T4, Shiro Chi, etc, etc, check out my other videos because I've featured them before on my channel. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here is today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye! Wait, at the next one? No, in the next one. <laughs> And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! This is the honey green tea. Shoot, what is it? <laughs> Before we get into the video, if you guys like videos like this, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell so you don't miss more videos like this. <laughs> if you guys like videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss any videos. Um, gosh. If you guys wonder what bird does when I'm filming, <laughs> he has to crouch in the corner. <laughs>